This is a 5G cell tower that uses millimeter wave technology. 5G stands for 5th generation broadband cellular technology. This video will explain the differences between 4G and 5G by examining their physics of propagation. Each cellular service provider has their own frequency bands that they use, and in the city I filmed, the Verizon network is dominant, so we'll use their operating bands to draw comparisons between 4G and 5G. Verizon's 4G network operates in the 700 MHz to 2.5 GHz range, whereas their 5G cellular technology operates at higher frequencies in two bands, at 28 GHz and 39 GHz. Before we continue, we must first understand what frequency, the megahertzes and gigahertzes, means. So let's do a brief overview of what an electromagnetic wave is. Electromagnetism is one of the four fundamental forces of the universe, alongside gravity, the strong nuclear force, and the weak nuclear force. Photons are the carriers of electromagnetic waves. In a vacuum, electromagnetic waves travel at the speed of light. These waves consisting of a magnetic field of potential energy, orthogonal, or 90 degrees, to an electric field of potential energy, both of these fields being orthogonal to the direction of motion of the wave. Cellular networks use electromagnetic waves to transmit and receive information to and from electronic devices. By altering the characteristics of an electromagnetic wave, information in the form of zeros and ones can be encoded into the waves and then interpreted by an electronic device in order to, let's say, stream a TV show, listen to a song, or load a web page. How often an electromagnetic wave cycles is known as its frequency, denoted by the SI unit hertz. A 3 hertz electromagnetic wave cycles 3 times per second, whereas a 30 hertz electromagnetic wave cycles 30 times per second. For the 4G cellular network operating at 700 megahertz to 2.5 gigahertz, these electromagnetic waves are cycling 700 million times to 2.5 billion times per second. Propagating through air, this corresponds to a wavelength of 0.43 meters to 0.12 meters. The 5G network operates at 28 gigahertz and 39 gigahertz, cycling 28 billion times to 39 billion times per second. Propagating through air, this corresponds to a wavelength of 10.7 millimeters to 7.7 .7 millimeters, which is why 5G is called millimeter wave technology. Both 4G and 5G operate within the microwave section of the electromagnetic spectrum. Because 5G wavelengths are shorter than 4G wavelengths, they can deliver zeros and ones faster to 5G capable electronic devices, but this increased speed of information delivery comes at a cost. When propagating in mediums other than a vacuum, like air, electromagnetic waves lose energy with each cycle, a process known as attenuation. 5G electromagnetic waves cycle 11 to 55 times faster than 4G electromagnetic waves, which causes them to attenuate more for the same distance traveled. And since they dissipate their energy faster, more cell towers are needed for an area to have sufficient cell coverage without dead zones. As a side note, Naturally occurring electromagnetic waves, known as the Schumann resonances, range in frequency from 7.8 to 39 Hz, and therefore cycle billions of times less per second than the waves of a 5G cell network. The very low frequency Schumann resonances attenuate much, much less than a cell network and allows them to exist globally, whereas a 5G cell signal will dissipate out after just a few hundred meters, and a 4G cell signal will dissipate out after just a few kilometers. I recommend you watch my video on the Schumann resonances to learn more about how our planet naturally creates these electromagnetic waves that are felt worldwide. Because of the physics of attenuation, more 5G cell towers are needed than 4G cell towers in order to blanket the same area and usable signal. With the introduction of 5G cellular technology on top of existing 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G networks, the electromagnetic radiation of the environments blanketed by these networks is increasing exponentially in terms of power density. From the prehistory of humanity to the late 1800s, the only electromagnetic waves that existed in the environment were naturally occurring, like the Schumann resonances. Natural electromagnetic fields exist at infinitesimally smaller power densities than electromagnetic fields created by the power grid, cell towers, and electronic devices. The bioelectrical systems of the human body have been shown to interact with the subtle natural electromagnetic fields of the Earth. 
For example, human brainwaves and Schumann resonances are able to enter into coherence with each other, and heart rate variability, which is an important measure of health, has been shown to follow the long period power rhythms of the Schumann resonances. How the bioelectromagnetic systems of the human body interact with the much higher power and frequency cellular electromagnetic fields is still under investigation. There's more information in the video description and you can learn the biologic mechanisms of how EMF stress the brain by watching my video on the subject. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.